What is going on guys, it is Drakes here, coming back again with yet another Best Possible Squad Builder on this channel. Now if you do enjoy this content, be sure to subscribe because there's going to be a lot more of this coming uh, to this channel in very, very near future. And as well, if you do like this kind of content, then be sure to go and check out the playlist that I have of all these videos. At the moment, I am just starting out on YouTube uh, and I've been doing a lot of these videos. So if you do like this Best Possible Squad Building idea, you want to build some Best Possible Squads, Go and check them out, I have a full playlist of all different videos like this one on my channel. Be sure to comment them below uh, and I'll be sure to give your YouTube channel a shout out uh, when I do uh, build the team. I tend to build the teams within a couple of days but I'm sorry if I can't because I have a very busy, busy schedule sometimes. Um, but yeah, uh, so if you have any leagues, nations or clubs that you want to see me build the best possible squad of on FIFA, uh, be sure to get it in the comment section below and I'll try and build it as best I can. And uh, that is pretty much everything, now let's get into the video. Now to start off we always come to the fallen soldiers or the bench players. So these are the players that didn't quite make the cut, but if you want to build this team to the rating that I've got, to the star rating and everything with it, these are the guys I put on the bench to get this rating. Uh, these are the next lower players from the first 11, so if you wanted to build this team uh, and some of the players didn't fit then you can also put these players in. Uh, so as you can see, I'm very, I do struggle so much with names, so I'm going to try and miss a couple of these Greek names because um, I don't want to butcher them and absolutely slaughter them. So as you can see, first of all, it's a simple name, Moras. Simple, decent centre-back, not much more to say on it. You can see that he plays for Hellas Verona um, and quite a good-looking defensive side centre-back. Not that much pace and probably not that appealing of a card, but 76 rating, not too bad. Next to him is yet another centre-back, and this is Siovas, I think it is. Um, a worse pace than the one than the guy before, but once again, similar uh, defensive stats, quite good, and also a 76 rated centre-back card playing for Olympiakos. Uh, the guy next to him is a striker, and this is Gekas, I think that is. Um... Not actually got that good stats apart from his shot. Shot isn't too bad. Um, and I don't know what his in-game stats are. But they might be quite good too. But he's a non-rare, 75 rated. And I don't know that team that he plays for. So we're going to move on. Finally, we come to the top row. The last player on the top row, should I say. And that too is a 75 rated right mid. Who I believe is playing in the Saudi Arabian League. I might be wrong, but Saudi Arabian League. I'm going to go with. Uh, I don't know the team. But I'm not even going to try and pronounce that name. I'm going to ruin it. But let's just call him Fett. Uh, F-E-T for the first three letters of his name. As you can see, Fett has a 75 rated non-rare gold card. He's got quite a decent looking card. Probably somebody that you would want on your bench if you can bring him on as a sub. Um, but the formation I ran with didn't have any right mid positions. So we had to put him on the bench. Uh, but as you can see, 83 pace, 83 dribbling uh, and 71 passing isn't too bad for a right mid card and you could probably get him very cheap. Now we come on to the bottom row. The bottom row of players is the 75 rated Manias, Mantias, Manitias. You see I'm slaughtering it, I said I wouldn't. But once again, yet another Olympiakos player, a CDM, 75 rated, non-rare, decent looking card, decent looking stats all round. Not too bad for a CDM card but doesn't make the first team. Then coming get to the guy next to him is actually an informed silver called Fortunis. I think that is actually the right pronunciation. A centre attacking mid card, 75 rated, quite a decent looking card as well. All round 70, 70 rated stats apart from his defence which is 40. Um, and then he's got 80 dribbling, probably a very very good tidy card to use in game. And also once again yet another Olympiakos player. Then finally the last player on the bench is Ninis. Or Ninis, I don't know how to say it, but um, as you can see, also a centre attacking mid, 74 rated, but this is his base card. I believe he actually does have another card, but I don't know who he was playing for. Um, but I chose this card because it looks nice, I guess. Um, and as you can see, 75 pace, 79 dribbling, 73 shot, uh, 73 passing, sorry. Uh, all round decent card, not too bad shot either, 66, and that is everything for the bench. If you want to use any of these players, then you can do, or if you just want to use them as bench fillers, then feel free. Now let's get on to the starting 11. Now we're going to come to the starting 11 of this team. Now the starting 11, as always, I'm going to start off with the defence first, but before anything, you'll see on the left hand side of your screen that I've put up the stats for this team. So as you can tell, it's the best possible Greece team. And I decided to go with a 4-2-1-2 format, uh, sorry, not 4, a 
4-1-2 formation for this team. That is solely because they have a decent left back, decent right back, which is quite odd uh, for a national team. Not a lot of national teams tend to have a good left back and right back. And that is why I tend to go for maybe three in the back. But these guys actually had a good left back, good right back and a very solid defence. Uh, three very good defenders in this team. Um, and that is why I decided to go for a five-man back line. Uh, but then again, they didn't have that many good attacking players. I can see this team definitely getting a few informs and I would have to revisit this team at the end of the year um, as I feel like a lot of these players will get better cards in the future. But as you can see, I ran with a five-man back line, um, but very, very good wingers on either side. So, you know, they could go bombing forward. But if you want to build this team, you have to go five at the back. Uh, and then two in the midfield, one centre attacking mid and then two strikers. You'll see the rating, I can't actually see the rating, I forgot what it is. Um, and you'll also see the star rating of this team next to it as well. So they're on the screen next to you. Now let's get into the first team. First of all, we come to the goalkeeper. In net we have this guy. I'm not. I'm going to just show him on your screen. I'm not going to try and pronounce that name. I'll probably ruin it again. But as you can see, he's a 78 rated goalkeeper. Non-rare card for Udinese, I believe it is. Um, all round decent looking stats, you know, all in the 70 kind of range apart from his speed. We all know goalkeeper's speed isn't the best. But he's got 83 reflexes, which is quite a nice stat. Uh, and then he's got 279 on his diving and his positioning, uh, 75 on his handling and 71 on his kicking. Uh, decent looking card, not much more to say on him. Let's move on now to the left wing back. The left wing back is the 77 rated rare Holbass. Holbass has recently just moved to Watford, I believe, and this is Watford card. I believe he moved at the beginning of the transfer, uh, the beginning of the transfer window before the season started, not the one just gone. Um, but as you can see, he's got an 84 pace on his card. He's got um, 74 dribbling, 70 shot, and he's got 76 defence. Uh, 68 passing and 81 physical. This guy could potentially get an inform in a few more weeks and is one of these players that I can see um, maybe improving on his position, but I'm guessing we'll revisit this team and do its new best possible. Uh, but as you can see, this is Holbass, and um, yeah, now we're going to move on to the guy next to him. The centre back I've decided to put in the left centre back position next to Holbass is Manolas. Manolas is a very, very good young um, centre back for Roma. And as you can see, we've gone with his inform. I believe his um, base card is an 80 rated. Uh, no, I think it's an 82 rated. Sorry, you'll see that on your screen now, his base card. Uh, but as you can see, Manolas, 83 rated. This is his inform card. He could be on, way, on his way to getting um, a January upgrade. I say January upgrade, I mean winter upgrade. Uh, he could get one in the next coming patches very, very soon. Uh, but as you can see, 82 pace, which is very, very nice on a centre back. Uh, 87 shot, 87 defence, sorry. 84 physical. All stats that look very, very attractive for this card. Um, now we're going to move on to the central centre back. The central centre back that I've gone with is the 79 rated centre back Papadopoulos. Papadopoulos. I don't know if that's right, but I'm going to go with Papadopoulos. Uh, as you can see, he's a centre-back for the German team, um, Bayern. Uh, oh, Bayern Leverkusen. Is it Leverkusen? I think that's Leverkusen. But as you can see, he's got 65 pace, which isn't too bad for a centre-back. But he's got very, very good defensive stats in 78 and 84 physical. Uh, very, very nice looking card and helps with this solid solid defense i can't see you conceding many goals the only problem i can see with this team is maybe not scoring as many uh, because it is quite, kind of light up top but hopefully you won't concede enough and maybe you could get a goal one goal and then win one nil so it's you have to be very defensive minded to play with this team but this is the best greek team anyway uh, the guy next to him is yet another 83 rated center back and this is the um, centre-back Socrates. Socrates plays for Borussia Dortmund. He has 75 pace, so once again, a very nice pace on a card. Uh, but he has got even better defensive stats. 86 defence and 83 physical. This guy absolutely looks, looks like an absolute incredible, incredible card. Uh, his other stats are a bit weak, but just using him as a defender, your main stats that you want to be looking at are possibly his passing, but his three stats that you do want to focus on, in my opinion, as a centre-back, are his pace, his defence and his physical. So those are the ones that I focus on. So you've got three very, very tidy centre-backs and then a decent left wing-back. And now to finish up the defence, we're going to come to the right wing-back. The right wing-back is Torosidis. Torosidis. I'm going to go with Torosidis. Also, once again, yet another... Um, 
right wing back for Roma. So I could have possibly put Manolas in the right centre back uh, role and then he would have got good chemistry with him. But I didn't do what you can do if you build this team. Um, <clears throat> but as you can see, sorry I had a cough then. Uh, but he's got decent pace, this Torosidis. Um, he's got 75, uh, 76 pace. Uh, he's got decent dribbling and he's also got uh, nice defence and nice physical, both being 77. Uh, decent looking card, not much more to say on him. Uh, let's move on to the next guy. Uh, so the next guy is going to be the left centre mid of this team. And this is this guy, as you can see. I'm not going to try and pronounce his name. This is Tash. Tatch. Let's just call him Tatch. Tash. Tatch. Let's call him Tatch. Sorry, I'm struggling. I said I won't pronounce his name and then I go to pronounce his name. But this guy, I believe, does come out as a CDM um, and you'll see his base card. Uh, but his inform also does come out as a CDM, I believe. Um, so he's 78 rated, inform. His pace isn't the best, but he's got good passing in 78. He's got decent dribbling in 71. Decent defence in 72. And very, very good physical in 82. So very, very decent um, physical on a card there. Um, and he's good and also a very, very defensive minded player. So like I said, this team is very, very defensive. If you like that, then build it. Uh, but if you don't, I wouldn't advise you building this. So that's pretty much the wrap up on him. Now let's move to the guy next to him. The guy next to him is Samar Samaris. Samaris? Samaris. Let's call him Samaris. Uh, this guy is an 80 rated, non-rare Benfica player. Um... And as you can see, his pace isn't too good. But once again, he's got very, very defensive stats. He too has pretty good passing in the fact that he's got 76 passing. Um, as you can see, he's got decent physical 82. Just the same as uh, Tash or Tatch. Tatch. I keep on pronouncing that bit wrong, let alone his full name. Um, but as you can see, the guy next to him, two very defensive-minded centre mids. Uh, good stats all round. You know, 78 defence, 74 uh, dribbling, 76 passing and 82 physical um, that is pretty much that ripped up, uh, ripped up, wrapped up, um, pretty much done. Now let's move on to the centre attacking mid. The centre attacking mid is the 75 rated non-rare uh, centre attacking mid for Udinese Kone. Kone has pretty much all round decent stats again, all in the 70 range, you've heard it all before. 76 pace, 77 dribbling, 72 shot, 74 passing and 73 physical. That's that, not that much of an amazing card. Uh, I believe he does have another card, he plays for another team, I believe it was Fiorentina. Uh, you can get that card if you want, you're going to get just the same chemistry, but he possibly could get an inform and could help this team in a few more weeks time. Now, there are quite a few strikers that are 75 rated. So, this guy who we have in left uh, striker position could easily be changed and swapped out. But this guy had the best pace, best shot, and I believe best dribbling. So, we put this guy in. But as you can see, not even going to try and pronounce that name. Athan. Uh, let's just call him Athan. Um, he's got 76 pace, Athan has. Uh, he's got 72 dribbling, 75 shot, and then 70 physical. And 66 passing isn't too bad either. Not that much of an amazing card. Um, I think he's uh, from the Greek League. I think it's that team that's called PKO. It's called it's something like PKOK or something. I don't know how it's pronounced or how it's said, but I think that's how it's put on FIFA. That's that. Not that much of an amazing card, but yeah, he's just there because he's the best of the best. And then finally, we come to the right striker. The right striker is two. Is also it's not his two. Is also a Benfica player, and that is Mitroglou. Mitroglou is quite a famous striker. You might know him. He's played for a few teams in his time. But this is 80 rated in form striker card. As you can see, his base card is up on the screen. But if you want the best possible, you use in form. Very, very nice looking card, apart from his pace. He's got 78 dribbling, which isn't too bad. 84 shot, which is incredible. Um, you're going to need that with this team, as I've told you before. It is very, very defensive. Um, and then you've got 70 passing, and then you've got 76 physical. Um, so all round, you can see this team now. If I was to play with this team, I would possibly try and get up as much as you can do with the wingers. Um, I would possibly reposition a few players. I positioned it quite quick this team, but if I wanted to, I would probably move Manalas to where Socrates is in the defence, um, and I would possibly move the Tatch guy, Tatch the left centre mid, 
to uh, Samarases and then swap Matroglu for Athan as well. So you'd move a few players around and I think you might get just a bit better chemistry. Um, and I'd maybe be doing runs with Athan and then getting it onto Matroglu's head. Uh, you know, play a few ways and if you do build this team, let me know how it plays. But thank you very much for watching. If you have any best possible squads that you want me to build, uh, tell me them in the comment section below. Uh, best possible nation, best possible league or best possible club. Um, I've just had a guy ask me to build a best possible Notts County team, so that's going to be coming in a few days, so that's quite an odd one, but if you guys want to see me build any possible squads, the more unusual, the better. Thank you very much for watching, have a very, very nice day, and see you in a bit, guys.